Geddes. Probably not. Jane yeah. Geddes could – she probably – well, she could beat both of us. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah there's without, no question. Without question. <laughs> and she joins us right now, Jane Geddes, former LPGA star, and as I mentioned before the break, former WWE superstar, <laughs> Jane Geddes. That was going to come up. I, oh, I, well, I, I mean, like, I don't know. <laughs> you had to know. It's, Couldn't uh, help yourself. I know. Jane, I know. I know. Jane, would you prefer we made lawyer jokes? Because you've done, oh, appara- no, apparently no, you've done I'm everything. Good. Listen, I'm good. All I'm right. good. I'm good. Okay. Yeah. She's also a lawyer. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's how she got the WWE thing. All right. Oh, boy. Crazy, right? <laughs> Tell us what's going on in your world and what this LPGA Women's Network uh, is doing and uh, how we can all get involved. Yeah, thanks, thanks, you guys. Thanks for having me on. I, I really appreciate it. We've had kind of an exciting, fun day today where um, we are golf um, and the LPJ uh, Women's Network are um, announcing today the launch of a campaign called Hashtag Invite Her. Um, and it, it, it stems from the We Are Golf and what was formerly Golf 2020 Women's Task Force that I happen to chair, um, kind of getting together last year and saying, how can we how can we really do something that we can um, really talk about and, and talk about numbers, talk about data, not just check boxes, right? We, we, all of us in the golf world have been talking for years, how do we get more women into the game? So we all got together and said, hey, listen, how do we, how do we really make a difference? And I happened to be in a meeting a few months ago at the LPJ when they were talking about this new campaign. They were thinking about this hashtag invite her and, and the bells went off and I thought, this is it. This is what we all need to connect to. So we launched it today. Um, it's, it's about, the, it's a very basic uh, concept where we're asking everyone that plays golf to invite a woman or women in your life to play golf with you. We all have been invited, right? We've all had that invite where someone has said, hey, you need to come play golf with me. Come to the club. You know, um, what we're saying is extend the invite, but then make it happen. Whether it's, you know, hey, come to my club on Friday at 9 o'clock, we have a tea time, or, hey, my friend that doesn't play golf, go to inviteher.com. Go, go check out that website. There's tons of resources there that will tell you all about learning the game, um, where to go for clinics, how to get involved. Uh, and so what we're trying to do is just offer, offer that up to people to be able to extend that invite and give them something else to follow through on. Facilities, golf pros, um, people that play golf, we're giving all those groups the tools to just try to get women in the game and then keep them in the game because that's always right the key is, is really to keep them there. So launched today. We're really excited about it. And, and, um, and th- this is a campaign that's here to stay. You know, we are – this is just the start today. Uh, we hope it's something that people can relate to and that they get involved in and um, I'm, I'm happy to be here today to be with you guys to be able to talk about it to your audience as well. well talk about the retention. How, how do you how do you get people? The introduction is one thing. How do you keep them in the game? How, how do we take uh, the next question, step? Right? That's, that, that's the that's the question that we're all trying to answer. But one thing we know about women in the game is that they like to do it in groups. They like to have clinics. Um, if you do a comparison of three guys that want to get into the game and three women, right? The women might say, well, I really would like to do it together. I'd really ha- like to go have a clinic at the club. We'll go, and they, they don't want to be embarrassed in front of the golf pro. Then there's three guys that are like, oh, no, 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 no. I am not going to do this with these guys because I do not want to be embarrassed with my friends, right? I'll go do it on my own. And so, so there's like a different view of the game. And, and it's, a, you know, it's, a, it's an intimidating game. Um, you know, when you're, on, when you're in our shoes – Getting out, of, uh, getting out of the car at the golf course is not an intimidating thing, right? We know exactly where to go. We know what to do. We act like we own the place. Women that are just starting the game especially are unbelievably intimidated by just the thought of going to a golf course. So we have to create a welcoming, a fun, uh, and inclusive, I, you know, that word is so used and overused, but really an inclusive and, uh, environment that um, is women-friendly, really. You know, I mean, and it, it seems like, oh, my gosh, it doesn't seem that hard to do, but somehow we're not exactly succeeding at it. And, by the way, it's hard to keep a lot of people in the game. Um, you know, the industry is, is, is tackling that every day. 
Um, but we feel like if we can do it in a way that's welcoming and, and fun and um, educational and, you know, and, 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 and kind of tick the boxes that we now know that really affect women positively, um, you know, hopefully we can make a difference. Jane Getty's our guest talking about hashtag invite her. You can check it out at inviteher.com. Two-time major champion Jane Geddes, which probably should be the first thing we mention. Really? You didn't think the WWE was the right way to go with that? No, I thought that was. Well, last time I think I was on this show, I think we talked wrestling, right? Yeah, well, I mean, that's that's what we do. That's what it was about, right? Right. Jane, I saw that uh, the Top Golf is involved in this project, and sure does seem like a great place to take anybody. How are they involved? Uh, that's the truth, isn't it? I mean, I am, you know, Top Golf is involved just as all of our, um, we have a, we, the, our We Are Golf Women's Task Force is, has, er, you know, we, we're represented in every facet of the industry, which is fantastic. Um, Top Golf being one of them. And I, I, listen, I'm, I am a huge Top Golf fan because I feel like it just, it feels right, right? To be able to go to a, a, a place that's fun, where you can have some food, you can have some drinks, you can feel like you're playing golf and feel like you're a golfer. Um, and that, and hopefully that experience, you know, you know, extends into more and, and get people out to the golf course or whatever, but it's an awesome, awesome, um, you know, uh, tool to get people playing the game. I love to go to Top Golf and walk up and down and watch what people are wearing and watch it's hysterical, right? But people are out there, it doesn't matter, right? And you you can do whatever you want to do, get a golf club in your hand and play. And I think I think it's a great partnership for us. Um, you know, like I said, it's that you know Top Golf is part of our task force and and um, we're obviously gonna do some things with them, just like we're gonna do with other facilities though. You know, part of what we're doing is is giving, um, I, I mentioned it earlier, is, is providing toolkits and, and really simple sort of, hey, if you're not doing women's clinics, here's, here's a good way to do them. Or, if, or you, you know, if you feel like you're not getting women to the course, here's how to do that. And so we're providing resources for, for others as well. But um, Top Golf cer- certainly has, and we don't, we don't have to provide any resources for them to figure out how to get people to go to their uh, facilities, which is great. Uh, Jane, uh, did, you, uh, did you participate this year in the inaugural Women's Senior Open. I did. I did. How, how was it? How, how you know? How was the it atmosphere? Was, it was. It, you know what? It was. Um, the USGA did an amazing job of making a a. I'm going to call it a small venue because only because when you think U.S. Open, you think build outs and stands and right. There wasn't any of that. It was very old school. It was, um, we had no ropes. We had ropes, like, around the tees, um, which we thought was going to be a nightmare. It ended up being really awesome. Um, th- they made a small venue feel so big to us. Um, it, was, it, was, it was such a really cool week. It was cool because it was the first one. Chicago Golf Club, by the way, wow. Just, that's all I can say. It's probably the most unique golf course I've ever played. It was in spectacular condition, uh, the, and it was set up perfectly. It, it was. It felt like a U.S. Open um, to all of us that haven't played in U.S. Opens in a really long time. It was. It was such an honor to be a part of it and to play in the Open. And I made the cut, which made was like a miracle on a you know in, a, in and of itself. <laughs> so I hadn't tried to make the cut in like 15 years. So that was. That was pretty fun. Oh, were but, you nervous? Um, it, was, it really was cool. What's that? Were you nervous uh, on the last few holes? <laughs> I, I was. I was, and I had to make a putt on the last hole to make the cut. So, um, but it was, you know, it was really cool. It was, it was, it was such a thrill to be a part of it. it. Really was, and like I said, the USGA they hit every note. Like they did it. They, 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 you know. And I know it was. There were a lot of, uh, you know, there were a lot of questions going in. They, they had no idea what to expect, really, on a lot of different levels. But I think. They made a lot of great choices, and it worked out great. Jane, always great to hear from you. Invite Her campaign, hashtag Invite Her, inviteher.com, launching today from the LPGA Women's Network and We Are Golf. We appreciate your time.